Hey. Uh, so today I wanted to do a smoky eye tutorial and that's basically it. Um, I get these requests all the time for this smoky eye that I did using the Tati palette because uh, I did a like an assumptions video after that and people will watch it and they're like you need to do a tutorial on this look. I have a tutorial on that look <laughs> but it's pretty old now so either it doesn't get um, recommended or it's hard for people to find. So I kind of wanted to do like an it's not that look but it's going to be along those lines, whatever. Anyway, I just got some products I wanna use, you know? Um, all right, so I already primed my lids with my Anastasia primer. Um, and I'm gonna be using the Stone Cold Fox palette from ColourPop, which was briefly in back in stock. I don't know if it's available again, but um, it's this guy if you haven't seen it. Just a bunch of really beautiful, like cool toned nudes. Just a bunch of really great shades. So I'm going to start off with, um, I'm actually gonna mix these two shades, uh, which are warm and cool. So Quarry Days and then whatever that says, You Rock. Basically any neutral palette that you want to use. And I'm gonna be using my Morphe M521 brush. Um, and I just want this to be like real smoke. So I'm gonna start it up above my crease and just basically like cover this whole area, taking it all the way up to my brow. Um, I love like a really, just a go-to smoky eye. So that's kind of what I want to what I wanted to create today. Isn't that like a really beautiful, kind of cool toned shade, you know? Don't be afraid to mix colors if you feel like you don't have the correct tone that you want. I do that very often and that's one of the reasons that I love this palette because there are so many tones, like warmer and cooler. One of the reasons that I t like to take it all over this area, especially up to my brow, is because I have quite a bit of room here. Um, and if I leave that light, it can kind of look heavy. It can kind of look like um, it's bringing my eyes down a little bit. So if I push this back in space, it makes what's on my lid pop a little more. And if you start off with colors that aren't too, too dark, you can be a little bit reckless with blending. You know, I'm kind of just like, going. Whew, almost dropped that. Um, kind of just like going in. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna stick with a kind of a cool toned gray. So this is from um, Revlon. This is the Color Stay Crayon in Charcoal. So it's just a gray eyeliner. So I'm gonna place this in my waterline and drag it a little bit onto my lower lash line. Something, a misconception about smoky eyes, a lot of people think that you just have to kind of put like black shadow all over the place. Um, if I use incredibly dark black shadow, I got a little reckless, incredibly dark shadows or black shadows and just put it all over my eye. It can look a little aggressive because, um, you know, I'm a blondie and I'm quite fair skinned. So something to keep in mind is that a smoky eye can be any color. It's really about how you apply the shadow, but a neutral smoky eye, neutral dark smoky eye, on someone with black hair and olive coloring is going to look a lot different or should be a lot different than a neutral smoky eye on someone with my coloring or someone with fair pink skin. Now on a smaller blending brush, this is just from ColourPop. It's not blue, it's just stained blue. Uh, this is the E27. I'm gonna pick up those same shades, once again mixing. And I'm going to drag these all underneath my eye bag. So this is actually the perfect tone for someone with my coloring because you can see that it kind of matches the color of my eyebrows. So if you are trying to create a more natural looking smoky eye and you're very confused because you're trying to use like these dark browns and you're like, wait, this does not work for my coloring. I don't understand. Try to start off with shades that are close to your hair color. Um, or if you're just looking for transition shades in general, starting off with something that's close to your hair color is just going to, you know, <laughs> be flattering no matter what. But this is gonna act as a really, really nice base for our smoky eye. So I'm just placing this all along my lash line, my under eye bag, because I like to, play, I like to um, push that area back in space by making it a little bit darker. So this area goes back my under eye comes forward a little bit more, um, which is going to kind of reverse what we have going on. You can kind of see right now, since this isn't completely covered up, it's not completely dark, 
that my under eye darkness underneath my concealer kind of shows through a little bit. But on this side where we've darkened this area, it kind of like helps to create this illusion that this area comes forward more. So it's just correcting that. That's just an aside. So just blending back and forth. I like to go back and forth between um, the upper and lower part of the eye so that you can make sure that it's balanced. Because if you do all of one immediately, sometimes you might have to go back because they just look disconnected. All right, I'm gonna grab a smaller blending brush. This is the Morphe M456, this little guy. And I'm gonna pick up Cult Classic, which is this brown. So we're sticking with like kind of mid-tones, mid um, not quite warm, not quite cool, cool or like purpley. So kind of like a mid neutrally shade. I guess it's a little bit more on the cool side. And I'm gonna use that to define the crease. So I'm gonna start off by kind of patting it. And I wanna take this all the way to the inner and outer corners. But so I'm starting in this area so that the most pigment is there and then slowly blending to either corner. And I'm just gonna slowly build that up. And then if I feel like I need a little additional blending, I'm gonna pick up that first brush, tap into those two shades that we started with and just kind of go in between like the lightest area and where we just put that and blend. So I'm not completely going over that color. Um, that can kind of, if you find that like your smoky eyes end up looking muddy, that could be why, if you're just like continuously going over colors. I'm panicking right now because I can see the sun going down and I really want to take photos in the sunlight. <laughs> so I'm like, <sighs> Another thing you should keep in mind is that you can use pretty much any transition shade that you want, whether you want it to be a cool toned base or warm toned. Like if you feel like this is too cool toned for you and it's not going to flatter your skin tone, you can start off with a warmer shade. You can start off with something that's like pretty warm. Um, when you're blending though, you just want to be aware of mixing colors because if you start to transition into a cool toned shade you want to make sure that you're not just completely mixing them together because that's how it can end up looking muddy you want to make sure that you're keeping enough separation between the colors but diffusing that edge um, and i can go into that in depth in another video if you would like all right i'm going to pick up that uh, cult classic the dark brown and just pack it right there because i want something um, to blend into so I'm not gonna really like blend it on the lid. I'm just popping it right there and making sure that it like connects to the lower lash line. Just right there, kind of like filling in this little gap. You don't have to do this if it doesn't bother you, but I just need a little something. And I'm not gonna take that dark shade on my lower lash line. Now, I'm super excited about this because I've been wanting to use this in a video. This is um, Sam's brand, Auric. Uh, this is in the shade Ego. So this is the Smoke Reflect. If you guys are not aware, um, Samantha Robindahl launched her own brand and um, these Smoke Reflects have a cream base and then a like a shadow topper. So we're gonna be using Ego. Um, so this is the cream base. So I'm gonna pick that up with my finger to start. It's kind of moussey. And I'm gonna place this all over my lid. So since my finger, I have like a totally fat man hand finger. So I'm gonna keep it as tight to the lid as I possibly can. Just kind of like um, building up some of that pigment. And then where I start to go into the um, powders, I'm just gonna tap. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. And then, I'm gonna grab just this little brush. I don't know, it's a little blender guy. It's dirty, so I'm gonna wipe it off. And then I'm going to just really lightly with like the lightest hand ever blend around the edge 
of that and the, the uh, powder shadow. Then I'm going to grab the topper, topper shade with my finger, and I'm going to place this all over the lid. And once again, where I start to get to that powder from the ColourPop palette, I'm just tapping. Because I want to make sure that those are blending so that they don't look disconnected. But I'm not trying to like completely get rid of that, you know, deep shade. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. I am so obsessed with the way these shadows look layered. I'm not typically one to be like, oh, I really want a cream base underneath this, but like the way they layer is just absolute perfection. <laughs> okay, and then for my inner corner, I'm just gonna pick up the um, topper shade on just a little guy and pop that in the inner corner, just like a little detail brush right there. And then just kind of diffuse. I really love putting the, um, putting it like on the inner part of my like nose so that you just kind of get 360 views as you turn. I guess it's not 360, you know what I mean though. Um, okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Okay, so here's a close up. I finished putting on my lashes, mascara. So the lashes are Wisp Me Away um, or sorry, Wispy Me Away by uh, Velour. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I just threw on some lip liner. I think my lip liner is actually like, ugh, dude, all my favorite lip liners get discontinued. Uh, I used a combination of NYX Nude Beige, which is not discontinued, luckily, uh, and 50 Bite Beauty. I don't think they make these anymore. So yeah, this is the smokiest eye. <laughs> um, I love it. It's very basic, super quick and easy. You know, we didn't really use that many shadows. As long as you have some neutral shadows that you like, then you can kind of like play with what you do on your lid. And just keep in mind how you're blending. Um, I have a lot of videos on this. If you want me to go into depth about like blending certain colors, I'm happy to do that. Uh, but hopefully this, you know, satisfied some people who wanted to see a, I don't know, a look that was similar to that look that I did in, for that Tati palette, which was like more black, I guess. This is a little bit more like toned down. But just keep in mind that like a smoky eye can be whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be black. And if you are afraid of looking like a panda, um, you don't have to take your lash line down like super crazy. Today I kept it a little bit tighter so that most of the attention went to the upper part of the eye, which helps to, you know, prevent my dark circles from really coming through. That's another thing. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah. Still recording? I just finished. Really? Yeah. Can I play something? Because I need to listen to something for my speaker. Go ahead.